What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux on the Acer C7 Chromebook and first of all I'm going to show you that it is a Chromebook, a Acer C7 Chromebook. So the first thing you want to do is do this key combination right here do escape refresh refresh and power button hold it and then you can just let it go then you're gonna see this say a screen it says Chrome OS is missing or damaged please insert and recover a USB disk and what that means is it's you're getting ready to wipe your white all your data so what you're gonna do want to do if you have important stuff on your computer put in a um a USB and put all your files on the USB so you can put them all back onto your Chromebook. But the next thing you want to do is press Control D and it should pop up here. There it is. Okay, turn. It's going to ask you to turn off OS verification. Press Enter. Then you're just going to press Enter. And if you press Enter, you give it a second should pop up though there it goes so after we press enter come on there we are we're gonna see OS verification is off press space to re-enable and when you see the screen press control D once again and then wait you're gonna wait for this to your your Acer C7 to switch to developer mode and when that does what that does is pretty much allow you to set up your computer to do anything you want it to do like install certain things and whatnot so it's gonna switch to developer mode and this is gonna clear all your data it's gonna take about four to five minutes so I'll be right back as soon as it finishes So after you um, finish switching to developer mode, you're going to get this screen. You're going to press Control D once again. Then you're going to be switched to your welcome screen. And you can just go ahead and fill this out because you're going to need internet anyway so go ahead and fill that out real quick except searching for updates Okay, so after you get through the updating part, you're just going to fill out your email address. Just pretty much sign into your Gmail account. You can browse as guest, but I'm not sure if you can do one thing. Pretty sure you can do it when you're browsing as a guest, but I'm not entirely sure. So for the sake of video, I'm just going to try to get through this and not try it. So when you see this Chrome thing, you can just go ahead and press close. So you're going to open up Google Chrome and search this. J period MP forward slash CB crouton. Screw crouton is spelled tr the traditional way. C-R-O-U-T-O-N press enter then if you look down here give it a second there it is you're gonna get this file called crouton and as soon as you get that file you can go ahead and press control alt T and you'll be prompted with this screen here the 
the first command you're going to type in is shell s h e l l enter and if you're not sure which which version of uh, Ubuntu Linux you want to install you can just type in uh, sudo s h space um dance slash e space the squiggly thing which is shift um period the i mean shift comma the button right next to the one the squiggly thing i don't really know what that's called forward slash capital d and then o w n l o a d s downloads forward slash crouton space slash t list and this is all the versions of Ubuntu Linux you can s install so brief the real quick you got Chrome, Chrome Beta, Chrome Dev, Chromium browser C it says Chromium browser and then uses whatever that is and then it says Cinnamon installs Cinnamon desktop environment slot cli extra installs basic cli tools such as widget and ssh but i'm going to use lxde but um the next command you're going to do is you're going to press up on the arrow keys and then use the arrow key again to go over and delete the t and put an r press enter and this is going to show you what um what real uh what uh Ubuntu Linux release you want to use? So they're all right here. Wardy, Hori, Breezy, Dapper, Edgy, Feasty, Gusty, Hardly, Interpid, Jolty, Karmic, Lucic, Maverick, Naughty. So I'm gonna use Roaring. So press up on arrow key again and delete everything until you get to the R. And put a T space, and then whatever you're gonna run would like say I'm gonna run this one right here, this one right there, right here. I wanna put S F S E space, and then whatever um, release I'm gonna use like uh, negative. I mean slash R space gusty. I mean gut. Gutsy, gutsy, well, yeah, gutsy, and then I'll press enter. But I'm actually gonna use uh, LXDE space slash R roaring, and that's what I'm gonna use. And then I'm just gonna press enter. Then it's gonna go ahead and install. And depending on your internet, it's gonna take. Determine depending on your internet determines how long this is gonna take. So for me, it usually takes uh, 20 minutes. So, I'll be right back as soon as it finishes doing what it's doing. It says retrieving packages. So, it's going to continue doing this thing and install everything. So, we'll be right back. So, after you finish um, installing Ubuntu Linux, what you're going to do is come down here. It's going to ask you to select um, a user. I'm going to type in a uh, username. And then a password. There you go. Then to start it. You gotta type in sudo space start. And then whatever it is you pick. So if I picked, uh, well, I picked LX, LXDE. So I'm going to put sudo start LXDE. Press enter. Now we're running LXDE. It's, it's it's like a window setup. So if you come down here, press this. You have access to everything. So that.
that's installing Ubuntu Linux on the Acer C7 Chromebook. So, after you install Ubuntu Linux, there is a couple things you can do to get your your Acer C7 customized the way you want it. So the first thing you want to do is go down here to the Start menu. Well, it's not a Start menu, but it's kind of just like Windows. So just like start menu, you're gonna go to preferences. I mean, not you're gonna go to system tools and then open X term, and then you're gonna type in sudo space a p t slash git space update press enter and it's going to ask you for your password for your thing you just go ahead and type the password you chose earlier and there it is it's updating